imagine going on Twitter and you just see this logo, right? And then you realize Cristiano Ronaldo, you thinking it's a fan account, but it's actually his account. What? <laughs> like, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on right now? There, there is no way. I'm not even a football fan or soccer for us, you know, stupid Americans. I am indeed not a football fan at all. But like, okay. Oh, this is very low. That is very loud. Fam, what the fuck do you mean a legendary player joins a legendary game? Watch this partnership just be his shirt texture and the color edit. I'm more on the lines of what Rufu Mongo was saying to the point where um, I think he might be like a voice announcer or something like that. Like how they like how they do in, you know, KOF or in, you know, other fighting games like Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue and stuff like that. I feel like it's going to be something like that. He's going to be a, he's I feel like he's going to be an announcer along with Kenny Omega putting Cristiano Ronaldo in, in fucking Fatal Fury as as a guest character <laughs> can you imagine he has to play like roberto from rival schools right or like commentate a mode for street fighter 6 yeah exactly like i feel like it's gonna be something like that but the way they tease this right what if it's a, a football player but he's voiced by cristiano ronaldo what if it's something like that he can't be a character bro do you know how much money they would have to pay for that shit this one trailer made me lose 50 dollars yeah yeah you know what this is wild as hell that SNK just secured like 1.5 billion sales before the before 2025 even starts. It's crazy as hell that they bought the they bought to have the, the fighting game of the year before the fighting game even comes out. Just like Ronda Rousey voicing Sonya. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> that didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. From what I know, the voice actor, Sonya's actor from the Mortal Kombat movie voice Sonya. I don't know this Ronda Rousey shit you're talking about, fam. <laughs> Maybe the prince said he wanted Ronaldo. I can see that happening, honestly. Ronda was still better than Megan Fox. It was a really low bar, but somehow she was. Megan's the one we really don't talk about. Yeah, I feel like he's either voicing a character or he's gonna be some type of announcer. But either way, if Cristiano Ronaldo's in this game, you know I show speed is gonna strain this shit before it even comes out. <laughs> like you know they're gonna have speed support. Speed is gonna fuck around and start looking into Fatal Fury, and that shit is gonna blow the fuck up out of nowhere. And he's gonna have to learn fighting games, and then he's gonna get mad when he's getting his ass whooped, cause it's gonna be one of y'all that whoops his ass. That motherfucker's gonna run into Shao High, and it's gonna be really bad for him. Bro, gonna be barking at all the female characters in it. Bro, can you imagine when he sees B. Jenny? And my, I, I specifically say B. Jenny because of her outfit. Cause bro, okay, 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 speed jokes aside. Well, first of all, this is the day after that stream. This is honestly a really, really good look for not only SNK, but for fighting games as a whole. Because now you're bringing in the absolute biggest name in sports, probably of all time. And he's getting involved in a fighting game of all things. It's not Fortnite, it's not Call of Duty, it's not anything like that, it's not League of Legends, it's fucking Fatal Fury. Who the hell saw this coming? Like, what? And with him being as big as he is, he is almost guaranteed to bring in a lot of new eyes and a lot of fresh faces into fighting games in general. Because now you have all of these people who weren't aware of what Fatal Fury is, asking what Fatal Fury actually is, and more than likely, they'll be looking into it, and maybe they'll try it out. I am hoping we get a lot of new players that will wanna stick around and you know dedicate themselves to trying to learn this game because as Fatal Fury fans or as SNK fans we really want to see this thing take off but whether he's a guest character or whether he's just a skin or a commentator or a voice actor whatever the case may be his involvement with this game made SNK stocks go 
way the fuck up. Holy shit. SNK said, we finna flex all this newfound money we got now, fam. Cause holy hell. And all I'm saying is, in order for Tekken to compete, all they had to do for their last character after Heihachi, if they wanna go big, bring in yellow out Michael Jordan. When that man go in the heat, he got that tequila on deck. My man gonna turn into a whole drunken master. Y'all yo, ain't seeing a vision. Y'all ain't seeing a vision. I mean, his vision is all yellow, but but I want to know what y'all think about Renato's involvement in this game, and I want to know what y'all think his involvement actually is, whether it's a, you know, skin or if he's actually a character or if it's just voice lines or something like that. But anyway, this is going to be really interesting, and hopefully we find out this week during Tokyo Game Show during that 50-minute presentation. Holy hell, and it's, it's 7 a.m. on the East Coast. I am not gonna be awake for that. I'm gonna have to watch that later in the day. I'm gonna have to stay off Twitter and out of Discord because I'm trying to see everything as it's happening and I'm not trying to get spoiled. <laughs> anyway, on that note, we out of here. <laughs> later.